Given the popularity of ChatGPT, version four, of course, I'd like to demonstrate how you might want to use it to supercharge yet another business analysis process. Buckle up as we navigate the fascinating universe of a use case diagram, starting from a very basic vision statement. It's for a mobile app that's all about giving the power of informed dietary and budget decisions to its users. How can ChatGPT help you? Picture engaging in a conversation with a phenomenally well-informed stranger. How do you frame a question to get them to give you a useful answer? The success of your conversation depends on your ability to accurately articulate your needs. But the same is true of interacting with ChatGPT. In the world of artificial intelligence, how you frame an inquiry is called prompt engineering. And by the way, it's a vital skill for fine-tuning AI interactions to produce the most beneficial outcomes and not just get useless generic responses. In my case, I use prompt engineering to assign ChatGPT the role of an experienced business analyst. That allows the AI to narrow its expansive data set, focusing on delivering valuable, context-specific insights for me rather than generic responses. Effectively, prompt engineering enables me to transform this broad spectrum AI into a tailored tool for my distinct objectives. And JFI, mastering prompt engineering can significantly improve your productivity and decision-making in this digital age. Now, I want ChatGBT to create a use case diagram that I can use as a starting point. Since it's not a drawing tool, I ask it to use plant UML which is a markup language that I'm familiar with. To make sure ChatGPT understands my focus, I give it the vision statement for the app with sufficient detail that will enable it to respond appropriately. I also stress the feature that my app will not just recommend a restaurant like Google Maps can, but it'll suggest specific menu items that you should eat based on your personal health profile. And if you'd like to read the entire vision statement, pause the video. Apparently, ChatGPT follows best practices since it starts by identifying the main players, which is what I teach as well. It gets me. It identified consumers, the app users, and vendors, the menu masters, as the two primary actors. That's on point. It also snatched six high-level use cases from the vision state. And here's the breakdown. Search for eateries. It obviously extrapolated that phrase from eateries in their vicinity, wherever they are located. Good for me. I'm not sure where it found that view menu items, but, you know, well, it certainly makes sense. Maybe it's just in the category of general knowledge. Filter menu items by allergies. That's a great one, given the reference to allergies in the vision statement. Get dietary and budget suggestions is definitely going to require interaction between the app and the vendor's main data. Access ingredient lists, I think that's too low a level of detail for this stage of the project, but I guess we'll see. Finally, recommend vendors and specific menu items. That certainly came from the very last sentence of the vision statement. The app will not only recommend food vendors, but specific menu items. I can't fault ChatGPT for using the words of the vision statement. I probably would have too. I'm moving on to the creation of a plant UML code or a use case diagram. Note, I ask for this markup specifically because as a business analyst, I know that use cases are UML artifacts. Could ChatGPT have delivered it anyway? Maybe, but better safe than sorry. I won't bore you with the markup code details, but if you're interested, pause the video and study it at your own pace. Instead, let's check out the actual diagram. So I asked ChatGPT for a tool to render the plant UML, and voila, it hands me three options. I like the plant UML online editor. I'm familiar with it, and it is the official server for plant UML. That's one, you know, I'm at least marginally familiar with. Let's put it that way. Let's look at the miracle that is the use case diagram. To get the code, I'm going to scroll back up to the code window that ChatGPT created and click that copy code option in the upper right-hand corner. Then I'm going to scroll back down to the just suggested links. I'm going to right-click the Plant UML online editor to open it in a new tab on my browser. This might look pretty basic, 
but it's exactly what I'm going for in this demo. Now, to create the use case diagram, all I do is paste the code that ChatGPT created into the editor. And like magic, a well-crafted use case diagram. I love it. But keep in mind, nobody's perfect, including AI. And there might be errors in the rendition from ChatGPT. I've had that happen to me. If it does happen to you, you can brave the code and fix it yourself, or you can have ChatGPT take another stab at it. This time, though, I lucked out. No issues, and the results are pretty stellar. Now, I might not be a fan of all the names assigned to the use cases, but I can change that. The visual representation of the actors and use cases is on point. Especially, I appreciate the access ingredient lists use case. Now it's in its supportive role. That makes a lot more sense. So from a simple vision statement to a slick use case diagram, you can see how this AI-powered tool can give you insights at warp speed. Considering that this lecture takes less than five minutes, and half of that was just me yammering on, you can imagine the time-saving potential. I'd say this shows the ChatGPT can be your loyal sidekick in the fast-paced world of business analysis. So why not take it for a spin? Let us know how it goes.